Hello everyone, welcome to Aptie Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on monthly policy review. Basically, this monthly policy review is released by PRS Legislative Research. And this is PRS uh, monthly policy review for the month of November, December. So whatever news that was reported for the month of November, the entire news will be discussing one by one. And before I start this session, a brief about the PRS Legislative Research. It was formed in 2005. It's an independent research initiative. And it seeks to strengthen the legislative process and it provides information and support system to the member of parliament and MLA. It tracks the function of the legislative and legislator by informing with data and analysis. It's based in New Delhi. For more details, you can refer to the PRS Legislative Research website. Now, if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. So starting the session, the first important news for the month of November, that is National Bioenergy Program. So the Ministry of Renewable Energy has notified the National Bioenergy Program for the period 2022 till 2026, right? The program has been proposed and to be implemented in two phases. The first phase is the total outlay. 858 crore rupees. The program provides financial assistance to the developers in such form as a direct transfer, interest free loan, and subsidies. Now, India's Renewable Energy Development Agencies, or you can say IRED, it is an implementing agency for the Waste to Energy Biomass Program. So something important for the prelims examination, a direct question can be framed that which is the implementing agency. So the correct answer would be Indian Renewable Energy. Development Agency Limited. Now, the sub scheme under this program, the program is an umbrella scheme followed by two sub scheme. The first is waste to energy program. It provides financial support for setting up of waste to energy projects for the generation of biogas, biocomposed natural gases, power plant that exclude the municipal solid waste to the power sector and even from the urban and industrial waste residue. So these are the part of the wastes that is included for the energy program and the total expected outlet for the program is 600 crore rupees sometimes if you are writing in mains paper if you are uh, if you recall this number you can quote the number as well now the biomass program this will support the setting up of the bricket that is a compositable mass material pellets manufacturing plant and the promotions of biogas based on kagrishan's industrial project the outlay for this project is expected to be 150 crore rupees. Now, biogas program is another part of this. Under the scheme, the support will be provided to the rural area and utilize the biomass manual that is obtained from such plant from the farming practices or iski financial assistance ki baat ki jai, will be credited to the developer's bank account after the completions and commercializing of the biogas plant. Right. So 100 crore rupees is expected to be spent under this program for the first phase. Now, the second important news that is draft digital personal data protection bill 2022. So some of the key features of this bill, then we'll proceed further. The Ministry of Electronics has invited the comments for the draft digital personal protection bill. The bill seeks to provide protection for the digital personal data that will set up for the data protection board of India. Very important point relevant for the prelims examination. Now, applicability, ki agar baat kare, the bill will apply to the processing of digital data within India, where such data that is for the collection of online data collected offline will be digitalized. It will apply to the processes of personal data outside India for its offering goods or services or profiling individual of India. The personal data is defined as any data that of an individual who is indefinitely or in relations to such data. So if kisi bhi, kisi se, kisi data ki relations hai, if it's an individual, that will be counted as a personal data of an entity. The processing has been defined as an automations operation or a set of operations performed by the digital personal data. This includes the collection, storage, and sharing of the data. Now, consent would be an important part in this. So personal data may be proposed only on the lawful purpose, which has an individual consent. And the consent will be deemed to given the specified cases including the performance function of the law and provisions to him will benefit when each state ke kuch necessary conditions ki, like emergency, medical emergency, employment purpose 
ground of public interest such as fraud prevention information security and credit snow right so this was the only purposes where a content for an individual or the individual data can be taken for specific purposes now right to data principle the person whose data is being processed will have the right to obtain confirmation after processing a summary of data processed within the activities seek correction and erases uh, nominated another person to exercise in event of the death or incapacity or the grievance redressal so these are some of the parts and partial that is related to the rights of the data principle now obligations of the data fiduciaries the entities data mining the purpose mean for processing the data collection will provide that the notice about the data collections to be there for the purpose of processing the prior informations ki zarurat padegi anyway make noticeable or reasonable efforts to ensure that accuracy and competence of data is there build reasonable security safeguard to prevent data breach from any kind of data protection board of india and affect person for the event of the breach now the case of certain personal data such as the purpose has been met and retention is not necessary for the legal businesses purpose now india's long term low emissions strategy at cop 27 india has recently come up with a strategy we'll look into this this is very important for your mains examination also recently india submitted its long term emissions to the united nation convention on climate change with the ongoing 27 conference of parties at sharm el sheikh in egypt so the venue is again important many a type a map work is directly important from the section now what are the key features of this particular uh, meeting that was held so utilization of resources ki baat ki gayi the focus will be on the rational utilization of national resources with due regards to energy security and the transition of fossil fuel will be undertaken in just to smooth the sustainable and inclusive manner now talking about the transport sector increased use of electric vehicle biofuel especially the ethanol blending in petrol green hydrogen fuel are expected to decrease the carbon emissions in transport sector and india will focus on 20% of ethanol blending in petrol by 2025 and a shift towards a public transport this is what india has envisioned for urbanization ki baat ki gayi urban development will be drive in a smart city that will have initiative integrated planning innovation solid and waste liquid management and effective green building codes industrial sector ke liye low carbon development transition in the industrial sector should have not impact the security energy access and employment the focus will be on improving the energy efficiency high level of electrifications a relevant processing enhancing the material efficiency and recycling to the expansion of circular economy now transitions to low carbon development the transitions to low carbon development will involve several cost of development new technologies new infrastructure and other transition cost the provision of climate finance by the developed countries will have a significant role needs to be enhanced in form of grant and other concessional loan prominently for the public sources e waste management rule 2021 very important upsc has been frequently asking the question in the mains examination about the e waste related question although a direct question was asked in the prelims as well in 2015 as well in 2016 ministry of environment forest and climate change had notified e waste rule 2022 under the environment protection act of 1986 this rule replaces the e waste management rule of 2016 the rule provide for detailed management of the e waste and what is e waste if you are writing a definition you can write that electronic and electronic equipments including the photovoltaic modules panels cells and discarded are called as e waste applicability ki agar baat kare the rule will apply to manufacturer producers reversible dismantlers recycler involved in managing and manufacturing sell recycling and refurbishing of the e waste these entities will be required to register at an online portal which will be developed by the central pollution control board the rule will come into effect from april 1st 2023 now some key features of this bill first is about the responsibility of the entities now this include manufacture to ensure collections recycling dispose of e waste producing manufacturing of electronic and equipments producers of electrical and electronic equipments meet certain target for the e waste recycling and recyclers ensure that 
the facilities and processes in line with the standard of Central Pollution Control Board and material not recycled in the facility is to be sent for the registered recyclers only. Reducing the uses of hazardous substances, the rule prescribes certain standard and procedures for the electrical and electrical equipments that will have to reduce the hazardous substances in the equipment. These include the new equipment produced not contain lead, mercury, cadmium, and hexavalent chromium. So, these things are exempted. Hey, use me, not be done. This is again an important point for the prelims. And the Central Pollution Control Board said conduct a random sampling of the equipment for the market to monitor the compliances and reduction of the hazardous substances. Now, there will be a steering committee as per the new rule. So, the committee under the chairmanship of the Central Pollution Control Board will be formed to oversee the implementation of the rule. The members of the committee include the representative from the various ministries such as Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Electronics and Information Technology and Renewable Energy. It will also have the representative from Electronics and Electrical Equipment Producers, Market Association and E-Waste Recycler Association. Now, framework to sovereign green bond, again, something very important, which will definitely strengthen the overall post-COVID economic recovery and the RBI rules to strengthen the green bonds. The Ministry of Finance has issued a framework for the sovereign green bond. The bond are issues to raise funds for the investment in the environmentally sustainable and climate suitable projects. What are the key features of this? So first, the use of fund, the process raised using the green bond will be used for financing expenditures for the eligible green projects and some of the eligible categories under the project include renewable energy, which include solar, wind, biomass and hydropower. Clean transportation will be the part of this project, which will be eligible for the fund. The other category include climate change adaptations, sustainable water and waste management and pollution prevention and control. Now, project selections and funding ke kar baat kare, jyotni bhi green finance working committee hai, that will be set up by the Ministry of Finance to support the selection and evaluation of the project. So this will be a nodal body which will be finally shortlisting the projects. The committee will be reviewing the allocations of the fund and it will be chaired by the chief economic advisors, right? Meet at least twice a year. The committee will also include representative from the ministries such as Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Ministry of New Renewable Energy as well as Niti Aayog will be the part of it. So this can be again an important factual question for the prelims examination. Now, reporting framework ki baat kare, an annual framework will be released to inform the investors about the allocation of the processes. And the report will include the list of allocated proceeds of all type of expenditure. So the tax subsidies and again will be the part of it. Descriptions and the status of the project that has been finalized and expected impact on the project in the quantifying the indicators. Now, National Suicide Prevention Strategy. The recently, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has released the National Suicide Prevention to address the issues. According to the ministry, suicide is leading to the cause of death among those between 15 to 29 years of age. The National Mental Health Policy 2014 suggests that that destigmatization for mental health is one of the important issues. The strategy sets the overall goal for reducing the suicide mortality by 10% by 2030 and from the rate that is currently at 11 agar baat kare present me 11.3 percent per 1 lakh population ki data some key features like the objective the strategy set out the following objective which call for the reinforcement and rising capacity for suicide prevention strengthening the health services increasing community and societal support for the suicide prevention and improving corrections of the data on suicide. So these are some of the main strategies and objective of this bill. Even if you're writing in mains examination, make sure you write some of the keywords that is relevant here. Now action framework, each objective has a strategy document that provides for the strategies. First, the second would be the action plan. Third, indicator of the success, stakeholders responsible for the action and the timeline for the action in the short term. It proposes to phase out hazardous pesticides, which implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture, Farm Welfare, and ban on the pesticides that will be indicators of the success. Now, in medium term, the strategy proposes implementation of the safe storage and disposable of the pesticides that will be indicated by the reductions in the number of the suicide caused by the poisonous pesticides. In the long run, this proposes to increase the availability of alternate 
pest control methods and indicators of success which would be indicated by increased uses of the bio pesticides the ministry of agriculture and farm welfare has the stakeholders in responsible for the implementation of this action plan so this is the nodal ministry which will be taking the entire responsibility of it draft aircraft security rules again important considering the fact that government of india is looking forward to strengthen the security measures and procedures with regard to aircraft travel now the ministry of civil aviation has invited comment for the draft aircraft security which was formed under the aircraft act of 1934 the draft rule seeks to replace the aircraft security rule 2021 the rules provide for designing and implementation of the security measures at aerodromes now what are the key features first is used for private security agencies the private security personnel authorized by the director general will be engaged for ensuring the security purpose the personnel will be trained as prescribed standard for the aviation security training the other important component is the applicability the rule will apply to all aircraft aircraft registered in india personnel on aircraft operated by somebody who is permanently residing in india or has his principal place of business in the country so if your nri is also operating in india the rule will be completely applicable the draft rule expand the applicability to the person on aircraft registered in india aircraft that are in over india person of this aircraft and aircraft operated by somebody who is permanently residing in india or has a principal place of business in the country now the power of commissioners that has been transferred to the director general the 2020-11 rule has empowered the commissioner of bureau of civil aviation safety to ensure the security in aircraft aerodromes and some of the important functions include these are some of the very important power if you can directly be framed a question in the prelims establishing and maintaining the national civil aviation security program coordinating the activities between the department and designating the authorities at aerodrome to implement the security control and procedures so these are the powers that has been conferred to the bureau of civil aviation security now the role of the director general director general of bcas as per the draft rule the director general of the bcas will carry out the function that is to draft rule will also specify the specific additional data to the dgs kaun kaun se aise functions honge jo director general ko di jayengi that include arranging the security audits and carrying out the security risk assessment so these are the two important function that has been conferred to the dg of bcas a very important point specifically a direct question can be framed in the prelims examination right so this was all about for the prs we have lot more other initiatives for you like daily news and editorial analysis which i covered from the hindu and indian express a comprehensive news analysis where you don't require to deepen down any other source or method this will give you a comprehensive idea about the daily newspaper from both important sources we have is guest it might see that you can download from our official website fca every fortnight that is being released pib will be released very soon mpi is already there just of yojana and kurukshetra these all initiative will help you to sail through the journey of civil services if you have any other concern you can let me know i'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video